And you mentioned the job that Leon Rose in this front office has done. After last year's lackluster offseason where, you know, the moves that they made did not improve the team. Kemba Walker, Evan Fournier, and so on. But this year has been quite the opposite. Uh, Jalen Brunson, I look at that as that's been their grand slam pickup since their tenure started. Josh Hart, he's been a home run. You had a chance to see these guys in the early days, in the Big East days, calling uh, play-by-play for the Big East. Uh, you know, it, does it surprise you to see where these guys are now uh, based on where, where they started? Um, you know, the great thing about those guys, Brunson and Hart for the Knicks, is that they were coached by Jay Wright. And I saw these, these young men as freshmen in college. Um, and Jay Wright is an incredible coach. He's, he's, he's a genius. Not only when it comes to uh, tactics, motivation, but also player development. I saw how hard these guys worked in practice uh, when they were freshmen, all the way until when they left. Um, so I'm not surprised. Look at the players that uh, are in the NBA now from Villanova. You got Brunson and Hart and uh, Mikhail Bridges is going to be a superstar. Yeah, be a star. Uh, Dante yeah. DiVincenzo is in the league doing really well. Just got a new contract with Golden State playing with Steph Curry and he fits right in. And, you know, Ryan Archie Diacono has, you know, been in the league for a long time right now. I don't, uh, then what's the other kid's name that plays for Oklahoma City? Uh, uh, uh Robinson God, Earl. Yeah, Robinson Earl. Yeah. I mean, look at all these guys. Yeah. These NBA players. Yeah. And uh, Jay Wright is just, he just knows how to make you better um, all the way around. And if there is a surprise, I'm kind of surprised that Brunson has done what he's done. I mean, he's a second-round pick. Mm. He's, you know, All-American, player of the year, and got picked in the second round. But he's got a, he plays with a huge chip on the shoulder. I remember one time that, uh, Jay told me a story. He said he was giving Jalen a hard time about either somebody that he was getting ready to guard or or getting ready to play against. And he Jay was talking trash to him like, yeah, that guy, he's going to bust you up. <laughs> he said, Jalen, Jalen said to Coach, he said, what'd you say? He was like, yeah, man, this guy's going to bust you up. <laughs> and they say Jalen went out there and just destroyed this dude and wouldn't stop and then came back to Jay and said, he's going to bust me up. Nah, he ain't busting me up. I don't know who you're talking to. So I love the way his grit yeah, and his, his, his intelligence. I mean, he is a cerebral player. He's only about six one, I would say on a good day. And, uh, and then Josh Hart. I mean, I feel like I'm looking at John Starks all over again. <laughs> People say that all the time, man. They say it all man, the time. It's just the best. It's the best. John Starks was he was he was just the heart and soul at times. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. And somewhere in some other dimension, I remember calling that game the Knicks played the Bulls and Michael Jordan came back and had the double nickel. Oof. Somewhere in some multi-dimensional universe john starks is still chasing michael jordan around screen man <laughs> that was heck of a brutal. game <laughs> brutal man oh yeah. man uh, once again we're talking to the great gus johnson and, and gus you, you you hit the nail on the head with these nova players man i always say especially coming uh from that jay wright school uh, they always have a high floor when they come into the league they're usually plug and play ready now, what their ceiling yep. is, some guys will have a higher than others. I think McCall and Brunson certainly have star power, but they're always safe picks. And especially yep. with Brunson and Hart, they're battle tested, man. They played in the yep. tough games. They played in the Garden uh, and during the Big East uh, days. You know, they played at the championship level. And I think those things are important, especially when you're building a team, and especially in New York. You would know that uh, very well. Well, they won championships. And they're not afraid of the garden floor because they've won titles there. Mm -hmm. Think about that. Yeah, yeah. They've won Big East titles, and they've won national championships. I mean, that's kind of, it's phenomenal. I think Jalen has two. Yeah, Jalen's got two. And I, want, and I think Josh has two. I think. But, you know, you, you, they, you know, Leon 
and Wes and Scott, they're bringing guys in there that are not only talented, but like you said, they're Mm battle-tested. And they want to compete at the highest level. And playing at the Garden, I continue to say, is not easy. That's the hardest place in basketball Mm -hmm. to play. So to see them have success, it just... uh, it's really, it's just really nice to see all the, the fans, you know, and and their enthusiasm. It's been a while. Been a while. I remember, I remember when the Knicks went to the uh, finals and played San Antonio. I was calling their games back then. And uh, th- there's no energy like the Knicks doing well in New York mm-hmm. City. No. I mean, everybody walks around kind of <laughs> on their toes, <laughs> light on their feet. You know, feeling good, it's the man. Best. Yeah, 